Hi, I'm Luciana Arresti, and I had a Christian neuroma surgery 23 years ago. Uh, I had a market research company, and I all of a sudden found that I had to keep moving the phone from one ear to the other. So, <coughs> time to take care of myself. After a while, I went to see my ENT, <coughs> and he told me, oh, you have an allergy. And uh, even though he did a brainstem response test, for a year and a half, he was treating me for allergies. <coughs> and it was getting worse. So all of a sudden, I said, uh, well, I heard of the house clinic. <coughs> My mother had been there once. I'll go to the house clinic, and they'll give me niacin, and I'll be fine. I picked up my brainstem response test for my allergist, and even I, though I'm not a physician, as soon as I looked at it, I could see my brainstem went sh all the way down. I guess he never looked at it. Went to the house clinic with my brainstem response test, and of course they did an MRI, and uh, I had a, a little bit under two centimeter tumor. Uh, I asked uh, Dr. Brackman, I said, can I wait a while for the surgery? And he said, well, it's a slow-growing uh, uh, neuroma, but uh, you know, the sooner the better. And I said, well, I'll wait, thinking maybe on my next MRI, it's going to disappear. Well, I had an MRI three months later, and it did not disappear. So I waited till there was a break in my business, which is usually at Christmas time, to go ahead and have the surgery. And I was just amazed when I had the surgery. I really did not have any pain. And uh, the three days later, <coughs> at St. Vincent's Hospital, I'm dancing in the hallway with a friend doing the tango. And a couple of weeks later, I'm back in my office working. And um, as a matter of fact, when I was in intensive care at uh, St. Vincent after the surgery, and the phone rang, I said to the nurse, is that for me? Because <laughs> I assumed I was getting a phone call. Anyway, I went back to work. And the main adjustment, of course, was loss of my hearing in one ear. So I started researching different types of uh, 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 hearing aids, but more than the loss, because I could control that by turning my head the right way, always positioning myself, I did have facial nerve damage, and I sort of looked like this. And uh, I went to an acoustic neuroma meeting, and I heard someone talk about uh, facial reanimation with a woman called Jackie Deals in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, about a year, within, within a year, we flew to Madison, met with Jackie, and I'm so grateful for that because I started facial reanimation exercises with her and uh, continued them pretty religiously when I went home. Uh, in the past 23 years, went back another time, and then lately have been seeing her in Los Angeles. Most people as you can see, when I'm looking at you, don't see any problem. If I smile, you can sort of see it. If I get tired, it's sort of worse. But I've learned to sort of relax my face. And uh, when I take photographs with the family, I try not to open my mouth too much. I go, mm, like this, sort of get away with it. And uh, so that has not been a problem. Luckily, I have a husband. and. Uh, I wasn't looking, I wasn't dating, so I didn't have to worry about that, and he was very supportive. As far as the hearing was concerned, there was more of a problem to try to get a hearing aid that worked. So in the past 23 years, you can imagine, I spent a lot of money on hearing aids. Nothing really worked very well, uh, plus my losing them sometimes, a lot of static, until this last year, I heard about a sound bite, and I thought, oh, great, I'm going to do that went to the uh, house clinic, and they told me I was not a candidate for the sound bite because my hearing in my good ear, even though it was OK, it was not 100%. And at that time, the recommendation was for the sound bite that you should have that. They recommended I try a hearing aid called Phonak. And I've had it for over a year, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, Phonak is a hearing aid that goes, the sound goes from uh, wirelessly from my deaf ear to my good ear. And today at the meeting, I'm telling people, you can whisper in my left ear, and I can hear you. And people think that's really amazing. I will show you what it looks like so uh, people know. It's really very small. It's just a couple of little hearing aids that fit in my ear. And uh, I find it very comfortable. Basically, uh, as far as the hearing is concerned, before I had a good hearing aid, I go to a meeting, luncheon. Right away, I tell people, I'm deaf on the left ear. 
I'm not being rude, just tap me on the shoulder. And I adjusted very well to the situation compared to other illnesses that people have. I find this to be sort of minor. It's major when it happens to you at the time, but other things go on. And uh, I've had other problems since then. And this is sort of in the back of my mind now. And uh, I just have adjusted to walking on having my good ear to people. And uh, it's really been amazing. I want to encourage people that even though some people don't have such a good uh, uh, success, eventually, no matter what it is, you, you adjust to it. And uh, we have this libido in us that life goes on. And that's what's important. So I wish everybody the best. <laughs>